Hello and welcome to another quick look. This time I'm taking a look at uh, Anno 2070, which is a city builder game with a big emphasis on uh, trading, transporting your goods and pr producing uh, different kinds of production chains where you first start with raw materials, build up into different kinds of items you make out of those and then you use those items to make other kind of items and then you use those items to finally uh, grow up your city. So anyways, uh, let me show you the game a bit. So, in Anno 2070, unlike the previous Anno games, it's uh, set in the future. Uh, Anno 1404 and the other ones are kind of based on the historical times where you discover new land and all that. But this one uh, is after the world has uh, had this eco-catastrophe, which basically flooded most of the world underwater and now you kinda try to find and form new homes and uh, colonies into these uh, islands that still survive after the polar caps melted basically. And in, in this game you have several options how you can play the game. So you can go campaign, which is uh, just a series of uh, different missions with uh, some kind of storyline added to them. They are pretty fun and quite challenging actually, what I tried. And you can also do single missions. There are some bonus missions, these are f uh, from the DLCs. And then you have a uh, multiplayer mode, so you can play this as a multiplayer as well. And then you can play the world events. So these are basically missions you may or may that not change be aware of recent stock market movements. Uh, over time. So they are uh, available only during certain time of year, and then they are basically gone. And of course there is the continuous mode, which is the mo uh, my favorite mode to play the game as. Uh, Anno series, in addition to being silly builders, they do have a kind of RTS combat element in them as well. Um, this one does it best, uh, be the best, in my opinion, out of all Anno series. But still, uh, it's not very good, in my opinion, because, uh, well, the focus is on, on the city building. And I usually uh, turn down all the combat aspects in Anno games, because uh, it's not what I'm really looking into a city builder like this. And I'm, I'm really looking for that amazing uh, production chain feeling from this game, really. And uh, just building uh, a city in a nice, relaxing way. So let me show you the continuous mode a bit, and how that how the game works. I'm gonna go for easy for now, ideal for beginners. Personal objectives loaded. And uh, I highly recommend getting the complete pack for this game, which includes uh, all the DLC, of course. And especially because it uh, includes the deep ocean uh, expansion to the game, which adds so much new things to the game, like the underwater part, which is a really, really nice addition. And so you're not only focusing on uh, islands, like in all other games, you are also focusing on underground places, which are basically underground islands, but completed. still, it's a, a new layer to focus on. So let's do some game settings here. So you can have uh, eight players in this one, uh, which means you can also have 8 players in multiplayer. Uh, but if I remember correctly, you can have only 4 human players and 4 AI. But you, you can have, have none or uh, 7 additional people. You can also invite players into this one, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna add a third party, so let's add... You Thor look nice. Strindberg. And what was your name again? And they will do some building well, on the... Well, one thing's clear. We are not. <laughs> so, uh, some of these are building as well. So they'll uh, settle on some of the islands, like these guys up here. And some of these guys are only for trading. So I'm gonna actually plop down these guys. And leave just these uh, four traders. So they'll arrive on their own boats and do some trading with you. They don't actually do any building stuff and uh, don't take your space on the islands. So that's how I like to play it, because I, I don't care about the combat part and I don't want any of the AIs to screw me over by taking over some land. So I'll just have these four guys with me in there. And... Uh, let's see... Oh yeah, the faction selection. So here's also uh, game settings, which you can do. So you can do refund cost full, Island sizes, fertilities, and all kinds of these changes here, which are quite nice. 
you can really change uh, things how you want them to be. And there's uh, victory conditions and all kinds of stuff in there. So you can play the game just the way you want. If you play the continuous mode or you can play the single missions or the campaign of course. And uh, this game features two main factions, the Eden Initiative and the Global Trust. The Eden Initiative is trying to live with the nature basically. So the world was pretty much screwed over by global warming and all kinds of disasters after that. So they kind of wanna not repeat that and just try to focus on living in harmony with the uh, nature and trying to keep the air clean and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, global Trust on the other hand just continues the old uh, fashion, let's pollute, let's make money and just rob the nature of the minerals and whatever there is. So I'm gonna go with the Eden Initiative on this one. There is also a third faction in this one, uh, which are more uh, science focused, but as you play the game, especially on uh, continuous mode, you start out with say Eden Initiative, then you unlock uh, Global Trust later on, and then you unlock the third faction later on. So in a sense you can play all three, and you will play all three, basically, in a single playthrough on continuous mode, because uh, to get the best stuff out of uh, all factions, you need the f other faction stuff, so you need to either trade, or if you're not playing on a multiplayer or have uh, AI players to trade with, you're gonna trade with yourself, basically. So you run both Eden Initiative, Global Trust and the third faction at the same time. And it actually adds a lot more complexity to the game, because basically you need to build every building for every faction and also have every production chain for every faction going on and then you need to trade with yourself with all of those going. So it's quite nice. So let's get this going. I'm gonna go with Eden, medium map size and uh, sure, let's go. So this is uh, now loading up the game and creating a map for myself. Giving me some tips down there. And uh... If you haven't played any of the other uh, Anno series games, I highly recommend checking out the other ones as well. Especially uh, Anno 1404, uh, the Gold Edition, which uh, has the whole base game and uh, the Venice edition add-on on, on the same package. Instead of getting like the just Anno 404 or uh, the Venice. So you can get them in the same package for the same money pretty much. And uh, as the title says on it, it's uh, based on 1404 timeline. And uh, it's also a very, very nice game. It's a bit older than this one. This is the newest in the series. Uh, but it still holds up very well today and runs really well. And the big thing about Anno series, not only are they really amazing city builders in my opinion and have this uh, massive production chain thing going on, they are also really beautiful games. Uh, as you can see in a moment once this actually see, uh, she loads up and we can see it. So I'll show you um, a bit how the game starts basically. and. Uh, I'll try to load up one of my old saves, if I actually have them going, and show you uh, one of the bigger cities going on. But uh, for, for now, let's uh, go, go for this one, and I'll show you. So this is uh, our initial warehouse here. So like old Anno games, this one also starts you with a warehouse, and this is your initial island here. You can notice these things here are um, like uh, mine, mine sites, lobster populations, and all kinds of stuff like that. So there's uh, some natural resources, you have rivers here, you have a dam location, so you, later in the game you can build a dam on this location here for some nice power generation. You can uh, build mine sites in these mine sites. They have different amounts of uh, different materials and you can mine these out of them. You can also discover some new mine sites, uh, not new mine sites, but you, you can discover deeper veins in here with upgrades. On these uh, spots here, so on the river, you can build a gold mining and sand deposits and all kinds of stuff. stuff. Let's get the initial city going and zoom in. So here is your construction menu. You can also get your quick construction menu by right clicking and getting this open here. And you can actually uh, drag things into this one. So you just uh, grab one of these out of here. Ah, uh, how did it go? It's been a while since I uh, used this one last time. Is it this way? Well, anyways, you can somehow grab, as you can see, there's uh, empty slots in here, and you can drag this in there. But it's, it's been a while, so I don't exactly remember everything about the game. So let's build some road around here. You can just drag the road around the building. I'll make some road in there as well. 
and let's have a road going in this way. So you see this area around your warehouse here? This is your, your building range and uh, additional warehouses or city centers will increase your building range and uh, also this is the range uh, where your uh, warehouse collects items so all the materials are shared within an island so if you have a say a warehouse on this side and where's a house on this side they will share the items they don't need to be connected in any way uh, but uh, if you go to a different island you get a command ship ready to go please board uh, totally different uh, warehouses so you need to trade between uh, islands but not within the island so you you can just plop down wh wherever you want things on an island uh, and th like the if there is a this is the command ship which is uh, customizable your assignment and you can uh, make the ship order you things so if you somehow run about uh, run your all your things uh, somewhere and don't have uh, say food or materials or tools Tool tools are actually quite important lo on long run and they, they will run out fairly easily so I'm what actually can just uh, order, uh, order has been some uh, the goods materials from there sent. so this is one way to get new materials and trading is the other way and of course you can build them later on yourself you can also have upgrades for this and these are actually unlocked by playing the game and uh, persist on in the game, so once you upgrade your uh, command ship, it will last on every playthrough for you. And there is uh, really good uh, upgrades, like the, for example, um, fire suppression systems, which prevents uh, fires in your cities totally. And those are really nice to unlock. I haven't uh, unlocked anything on this uh, playthrough yet, so I am screwed <laughs> in that sense. Uh, let's have a city center here. So city center is one of those buildings, like I said, uh, that increases the size of uh, your building area. As long as the circle hits the other circle, you can place this wherever, but not goods on the other side here. Collection. So I'll just uh, put it down. Let's see. Let's have it there. And I want to have a road going on the other side of this as well. There we go. And let's make a road around this one as well. There we go. So that's my initial city center. Actually, I'm gonna make roads here as well. So have it like a crossing there. Roads are mainly important for uh, housing because uh, houses need to be connected to a uh, city center on a, through a uh, road, and also uh, to move your goods. This thing will move goods into it. It also has these flyers, so it, you can move uh, things by flying, unlike in. Uh, older Anno games, because surprisingly you don't have flying units in uh, 1404, but uh, this is the future, so we can fly things. And to unlock new buildings, we only have this uh, collector here, and uh, these building houses and uh, city center at the moment. To get uh, more of these houses unlocked, as you can see there's fisheries and tea plantations and concert halls, you need more population. It might be a bit difficult to see on the video there, the text is quite small even on my screen at the moment so for example this one needs uh, eco workers, lab assistants or tycoon workers so those are the three faction populations eco workers are for you and uh, tycoons are for the global trust and the lab assistants are for the third faction so let me just plop down um, actually we, we can't I kind of want to get uh, production going first, so you need basalt extra extractors and then you need smelters. So you get the uh, granules from these and then you have uh, granules into the smelter for uh, building modules. And building modules are, are used f as base material for all building. So let me plop down oops, these uh, basalt extractors and uh, let's put it there. And as you can see the building had uh, this area around it and in Anno games you when you build uh, these buildings that uh, have a uh, production or farming or something like that in addition to building the middle building in there you also need to plop down these uh, fields where they work so this one uh, has these uh, basalt extractors around it I am sure I could have placed this better but let's put it there for now so it needs uh, two of these to fully work and uh, Sometimes you will get le less than 100% efficiency from one, so you might ne require more than just one. This one is actually working over uh, efficiency at the moment. Stuff like uh, pollution, uh, 
lowers this uh, slight energy surplus. Uh, sorry, not that. Where was that? Uh, let me see. Not sure if I can see it here. Anyways, uh, there is like pollution on the map, and if you grow stuff on the island, uh, your uh, farms will work less because uh, they don't have a uh, that. Uh, I mean, the pollution uh, prevents them from growing at perfect rate. So I'm actually just gonna plop down, uh, say, four of these in here for a lot of uh, granules, so we have a lot of building materials on the long run. Uh, but there is also things. Uh, that lower the pollution. The global trust really pollutes like hell, and the Eden tries to be less pollutive. And as you play with Eden, you kind of try to keep the pollution low. And on the long run, when you start getting the buildings for a uh, global trust, you can just uh, build buildings that uh, negate the bad effects from their buildings. And as you play with global trust, you start out with horrible pollution everywhere. But once you uh, unlock the Eden, you can get their uh, pollution reduction buildings, and suddenly your production just skyrockets on farming and everything because uh, the pollution is suddenly gone. Also, important thing is that uh, pollution is uh, per island. Here it's actually the pollution, so it's a uh, stable echo balance at the moment, so it's zero. Uh, so. For example, you want to put dirty industry on one island and uh, the farming on another island just to keep them separate, if if possible, if there are three islands to do it. Also about the islands, so here the island is named Tectonica and it's producing tea, rice and coffee. Uh, every island produces four things and uh, usually, pretty much always, you only have three of them at the first and you can unlock the third, uh, fourth one by just uh, buying a upgrade yourself from somewhere, get it from a quest or uh, unlock from, it from one of the traders and you're gonna add uh, whatever you want in any of the islands. So that way you can kinda um, decide yourself what kind of island you wanna make. If you need some kind of certain production on some island you can just add the fourth one in there and they just work that one as well. So now we have those uh, granule puzzle extractors there. So we need to actually use those in a smelters to actually make those uh, building materials. So I'll put down a couple in there. Footage. So now we have uh, no energy on the island because we don't have any of these wind turbines, but it, it's fine. The, this will make some building materials for us. And uh, I still have a lot of building materials. So let's make some houses. And uh, building houses is the most important thing in this game. And you need uh, just insane amount of houses. If you think you have a lot of houses, you need more. There is no such thing as too many houses in this game. You you just build a lot of them. Actually, I'm gonna move those because I can. So I have a uh, free uh, refunds on moving the buildings, and I don't actually want them to be right there. So I'll plop them uh, here on the coast. Registering energy shortage. Let's make a road there because I actually want uh, houses in this row. So I'm just gonna plop down a row of houses there and yeah, another okay. row of houses. So there we go. Some people are now living on our island there. And like I said, the game looks amazing. Just look at the detail on these buildings. You can zoom out very far and very close. You, you can actually zoom out even closer somehow. I don't remember exactly how that works. And you can see the population moving around in there on your island. And uh, once your uh, houses get bigger, they turn a bit strange, uh, different looking and uh, it's just uh, amazing looking. The detail is amazing. You can see some animals there, some fish going on in there, and there is always things going on the map. There is also uh, marine life, especially underwater. You can see whales and all kinds of stuff. So it's just so pretty to look at, especially when you have a really nice peak looking city, and especially when your eco balance is uh, on a high, high positive. The island starts to look this really nice, lush, blooming island, and it's really cool. So, uh, like we just built those houses, you probably heard the sound, new buildings unlocked. So, we had some population, 60 eco-workers eco for the tea plantation, we have 36 at the moment. Uh, 30 population unlocked uh, the fishery, so we can now build fisheries. Fisheries are a really important early food source. And uh, unlike in um, old Anno games, where you only have ability to build them on the coast, in this one, you can actually place them well 
in the water as well, thanks to the flying units. So I'm just gonna plop down a couple of fisheries here. Make like a cross out of these. There. So that's my fishing center now, in there. Uh, later on I'll plop down something in the middle as well, when a uh, tech level is higher. So that should provide me, uh, sorry, uh, with um, ample supply of fish for now. And we're gonna build some more houses. Let's see. We have some peeling materials. We actually are low on uh, energy, so we can do uh, wind farms. Do we actually have materials for those? This video. So wind farming is, is the way for uh, power for uh, Eden initiative. And this range here uh, is the range of the wind turbine. And uh, multiple wind turbines that are overlapping with their range will uh, reduce the effectiveness of the wind turbine. So you want to place them kind of as on the edge of the map or something uh, as you can and just try to use your island space as e efficiently as possible to get as much power as possible out of these and not overlap them. You can later on have a uh, wind turbines that can go onto the sea as well which is quite nice uh, and you can get some uh, really good power out of those. You can make also solar plants and uh, like I said the uh, uh, dam with the uh, electricity production and all kinds of stuff later on. Also with the global trust you have a bit different more polluting options for power. So there we go. So now we have plus 15 power and I'm gonna plop down another one right there. They're gonna overlap just a tiny bit. If I look at this, it's producing at 100% efficiency. And if I make another one that is just overlapping, it shouldn't affect too much. But there, there, there is a really good spot for this here, so... I would be... crazy if I didn't use this. So let's see if it actually affected this. Yeah, they lost 1% of that. But just a tiny bit of overlapping, it's 1%, it's, it's whatever. So now we have a pretty good source of uh, power there going on. And once we uh, need more power, just plop down more in there and just uh, expand more. Let's see, what do we need next? So we could uh, have tea plantation. So, thing about this game is that you need a lot of houses. We actually should build like a row of new houses. Let me actually add a couple houses there. Like, just housing there. I actually don't have too much materials. so. Five houses in there, because uh, housing gi gives you money. We are actually low, losing money at the moment, and I should just build uh, all the houses I can <laughs> to cover that. And you can upgrade the housing. So in here you have uh, your city center that shows you the population and uh, your tax income from those. And here you can also uh, prevent them from uh, ascension. So I'm gonna prevent that for now because I like that uh, option. Uh, otherwise your buildings, once they have their me needs met, they will upgrade the house. Which can lead into a situation where they upgrade them too quickly and Game you save. lose your, all your materials. And uh, then you don't have uh, materials, then you don't have enough uh, food or whatever you need to satisfy them. And then some buildings will downgrade and you're, uh, you're screwed basically. So you wanna control when they expand. And to expand, you need to satisfy these needs. So Isn't food, gorgeous here? community. Oh, life can be so good. <laughs> yes, it can be. And uh, to upgrade these houses, I need drinks and I need activity for them. So tea is the drink for these guys. Alcohol is for the global trust. And also in here, you can affect uh, the taxation. In here. So let me uh, increase the tax Loading. in there. Also, since we have this you? here, we can uh, order a command ship. Command ship ready to go. So I'll command ship ready to go. order myself Please a command board. ship, which is your, uh, I am at your ship service. from here. And uh, you can use that to transfer goods. So here's my command ship. At I'm gonna take the tools I ordered and plop them into the ship. And there we go. And I'm gonna order this guy in here. So this is how you control your units. You can just uh, right click when you control the unit and you can move them around. This is how the RTS part of the game works as well. This guy has a couple cannons which you can use them 
fight and I'll just drop down those tools in there. Our uh, storage is actually full of those at the moment. We can upgrade this later on to make a bigger storage and you can also build more storage areas. So let's see, we need those uh, tea plantations. So let's make a couple tea plantations. I'm actually gonna build... Uh, can we actually build those? Mm, yes, so depots. So these are uh, additional warehouses which will increase your uh, building, building range and also where you can uh, move your goods. So I'm gonna actually build one of these in this side of the island here, plop it down there, and this one increases the building radius in here and this will be my location for the tea plantations. So I'll just draw the thing in there all the way. I'm gonna build another road up there and just down here, just have some roads going on. And I'll connect those as well. Oh, as well. And then we build those tea plantations. Let's see. We also need no more eco workers just to get the activity. But let's uh, start with these. So plop down the tea plantation. Tea plantation needs uh, three of these uh, areas where they farm the stuff. I'm actually going to move this just a bit to the side. Actually, if I remember correctly, I'm, I probably don't remember correctly. Well, let's put it there. So, a plantation there, there, and there. And you tr should try to be as space efficient with these as you can, but it, it might be difficult sometimes to get them uh, really efficient. There is a lot of really good guides online how to get these to be where uh, they really should be. But that, that's, that's fine enough for now. There we go. So now we should have um, some tea being planted there. I actually might want to have some more tea just to have a good uh, surplus of that coming. So let's add uh, two more in there and I'll just add these in here. So like I said, uh, these uh, do produce the materials that the farm or whatever is doing. And you can have actually more than three per uh, building. So for example, if your uh, building was getting less than 100% for some reason, you could actually have more of these to make up the difference if you had a like a horrible ego balance or pollution going on. So there we go. And you can actually see the tea being grown there. Like these have nothing yet and slowly growing there. And they will slowly collect the stuff as well. And you can see these trucks moving around, moving the goods into the depot here. And later on you can see flying units as well when you upgrade these. So now we have tea and we have a uh, Everything else, co community comes from the city center, so we need just need more housing now, basically, and then we can uh, make the activities as well. So there are some more houses. I need more houses actually. I should have actually added more of these uh, smelters. These are com constantly full and producing, so I can actually probably do that now that we have the power. So let's just have uh, five of those. So that's my building a material production there on the coast and we still have a lot of power so that's nice new buildings available for construction well we know we have the roads and uh, buildings you can also later on uh, get uh, statistics buildings from here and uh, once you unlock the next level of people you get more of these o opening here and once you get the different uh, types of uh, factions you also have them available and they are different uh, levels of population so there is a lot of different buildings and a lot of different levels of technology you can play with so now I, my, my goal is just to add houses as many as possible and I, I really need to fix this uh, money issue as soon as possible this about the taxation the also here I think we're gonna make it. you can freely keep it on the light green here but if you go up uh, from there I, in yellows or in the orange, uh, they cannot grow when you are uh, doing this taxation. But if you are doing uh, either of these, then it's fine. And you probably should keep it uh, around here, unless they are really unhappy and then you can move it to the dark green. And these actually don't need to fully fill. As long as they are uh, at 80%, it's uh, enough satisfaction. But uh, you, of course, should try to have 100% and overproduction so you can always expand. So we should have uh, more than enough tea coming as it's being grown there. So 
another house. Let's see, how, how close are we? 161 population at the moment. And we oh, we have the concert hall already. So I need to just wait for uh, some building materials now. And we can have the concert hall built to show this uh, activity being done. So, and now, and there we go. So here's your materials and the uh, power and the uh, eco balance. So we have now enough. And uh, concert halls have uh, this uh, range around them which uh, affects the buildings uh, so the buildings that need activity need a concert hall and all the buildings around this range will get the activity so you want to place these uh, in a good spot where uh, as many of your houses will get this as possible it doesn't matter if you have a couple of low level houses somewhere like down there so I'm just Thematically putting it there documents and there we go so this is now doing a uh, Activity just keep for these houses. In this city and, it's all thanks to you. and these should be able to grow now in a moment. You should start seeing some arrows popping. Let's uh, lower this to make it quicker. I am registering progress. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, also, the population is kind of pyramid, so you need a certain amount of the lowest level, the next level, and the next level, and the next level to up get upper. And uh, on the top, you have very little people and on the bottom you should have like a lot of really low level housing so now that the arrows are popping up that's the ascension rights because it's a uh, not available for them they are asking to upgrade so you can just click on the house here and you can pop the air in the upgrade arrow here it costs one tool to upgrade the house so that's a big reason why not to allow these to work on their own because uh, tools are expensive Respect. and kind of difficult to get and if you Thanks run out of them you need to just buy more life. and uh, you don't want to run out of them quickly so I'm just gonna keep these here you can also press U to I upgrade these houses so I'll just uh, upgrade uh, those houses in there so and now the arrows went out away they might pop up a couple more houses as a uh, upgrades but it's just showing that I need a uh, more uh, low level population and you can see the houses turn even bigger you get nice uh, eco skyscrapers later on with hanging gardens and all kinds of fun stuff was a Eden initiative but anyways that's new houses for me and that unlocks me a new thing in here so we can now make port authorities which can be used uh, as a trader so on an island you can only have one of these uh, warehouses but to get more trading on th for example on this side of the island or if I want to put it on up here and on this side there was an island I want to trade so you can use these as uh, extra trading nodes you can also repair ships here so it's a repair dock you can put on the coast here and it repairs your ships if you do combat with them we can now also do the statistics building which shows uh, different statistics about the island and you can also do these beautifications which do not really do anything other than take power and look nice but if you want to make a really nice looking island it's up to you and of course now that we have the second level housing we also have a um, second level employees so the first level is eco workers second level is eco employees and it gives me access to tool making and this is a really great addition uh, compared to the old anno games so when you click on the tools like here you want to make tools so you see, you need a coal mine, you need iron mine, you need iron smelter, and that makes you the tool, tools in the tools wor uh, workshop. So you see this production change immediately in the UI already. So you know which buildings you need to build to get the end result. So in this case, we have to build uh, a coal mine, for example, in there, and iron mine up here. So let's uh, get the coal, coal mine going. So I actually cannot get it there because uh, it's not in the construction area. So let's plop down one of these buildings in here it's actually good uh, having that in there next to it and now we're gonna have the coal mine right in there and let's make a road as well so now we are getting coal coal from here and this uh, node is now dedicated for coal only and once it runs out uh, that's it and up here we'll do iron once we get the range there let's have it there So that's, that's why you need to also expand to get these uh, certain nodes that you normally cannot get without an expansion. So there we go. So now we have iron and uh, coal coming up. And uh, we need uh, some steel mills. And steel mills will 
very likely lower our uh, ego balance it's actually already going down so these should now produce less it's not down enough yet but it will be once we start reaping goods from the nature also the fact that um, these goods are moved uh, between the warehouses uh, like teleportation it doesn't matter where you put your uh, production Morning. buildings as close long as they are close to a uh, good uh, depot or a warehouse and these guys are moving the goods in there the other guys are moving the goods into there so they are close to each other so I can just plop down uh, these uh, tool makers right in here next to this one next to the tea plantations they don't care too much because the pollution doesn't matter as long as it's on the island it affects the whole island so let's do make a couple of those in there and then we'll have a couple of tool makers there actually we don't have power so we need to get power there we go have power and another tool maker once I actually have tools so I need to wait for this to make one tool for me but anyways that's uh, basically how the production chains go in the game and as you build more elaborate things get wood like these next level buildings now need the food community activity and drinks which was the same as these buildings do uh, they now also need uh, two different kinds of food so in addition to fish they now need uh, sushi basically and they also need lifestyle and information so you need more more and more complex things to satisfy your higher level populations and that's it that's, that's pretty much the game let me show you if I have actually some uh, earlier load here. Let's try this one. That looks good. So let me load up uh, one of the earlier saves from my earlier game to show up, show you how a like a more complete bigger city looks like. And I can also show you the underwater deep ocean expansion stuff in this one because uh, I should have uh, some un underwater production on this certain things can only be mined or farmed or produced underwater and you need to move, move them uh, from underwater to the surface depot and then you trade those from there to your main islands and some stuff need to be moved into the island as well I mean the underwater base you have going so you need to trade around so this thing in here is Let's actually move to my main island. So this is my main island here. As you can see, it's pretty massive. That's a lot of tea production there. There are, there are some really nice eco skyscrapers in here. Massive amounts of them. So you can see, you will add a lot of houses. This is actually the wonder for these guys. Their wonder building, which affects all the buildings around it. And adds a lot of things. It's one of the uh, victor conditions also, if you en enable those. I have a lot of fishing going on here. These are some extra storage bases and all kinds of stuff that farming there here you can see also the dam so this is producing power for me and you also, also can build these plimps that uh, clean the air and here's my solar power collectors and all kinds of stuff as I said uh, you have these uh, windmills also on the water later on and we can also check out some of the other islands I have here so this is one of my uh, muscle production and my base building material production so I moved them all over here this island is horribly polluted but if you compare to this island this is uh, just an utopia and you, you can see how the places kinda look different as well this looks uh, very green and vibrant when you look in here it's kinda dark and not so nice and some other islands definitely should look even worse if I actually have the global trust island somewhere I may not have it yet Population leaving the city. So here's uh, some of my farming going on. So here, this is uh, the Tycoon Global Drust Island. Uh, it is actually pretty nice looking as well, due to me having uh, those uh, plimps in here as well. So using the eco tech to make these happier. And this is how their buildings kind of look. And you can see that their uh, methods are... Correlate positively. I will reevaluate this. These are kind of more dirty methods of getting the materials than the other ones. But anyways, that's uh, how they look. And this is the dirt faction. So these are uh, from the father, which is this uh, science technology group. So tech, techs are basically the faction, and they are uh, really focused on science and all kinds of uh, improvements. They have research buildings 
for example, is this this is the information center for them, and you can see them <laughs> information being there spread, and uh, this is their uh, academy. So here you research more things for your stuff. So whether you play as a global or e then you still uh, work with these uh, techs as well to unlock new things, and you get the other faction going as well. And uh, these look really nice, sciencey, futuristic, no high-tech people. And I have some Clear. really nice looking uh, roads here, and control. this is one of the solar power generations. And these are some uh, just trees I added here. So the this is a dirt faction, and uh, they look really nice. There's also a energy transmitter. So energy is uh, per island as well, but you can make these energy transmitters with the tech group to transmit power between the islands. Which is quite nice. You can make a uh, really nice uh, power island and just transfer the stuff in there. And just in your main island, just make houses and nothing else. This is their uh, wonder building here, science forum. And I'm, uh, I'm in the process of making the uh, tycoon wonder as well. So this is uh, the water thing I talked about. So this is one of your uh, deep wa deep sea warehouses here, which is kind of like this uh, oil platform looking thing where you uh, move your goods in and out and then you can just dive in into the water. So this is the deep sea part. Deep sea ocean DLC expansion part of the game. So you're now underwater, and they are kind of like uh, oceans underwater as well. As you can see, this is kind of this area in here. And down here, you can uh, do all kinds of farming, have these pipes going on. As, so kind of kind of roads, but they just go from building to building instead of building roads. And you can produce here, like Aqua Farms is producing algae. And you can get some oil from uh, things and uh, all kinds of stuff. This is a... Uh, uh, doing electronic recycling here, underwater warehouses, more of those. So this is one of my locations where I do those things. I don't think I have oil in here actually. But anyways, I I'm getting goods from this location. And we should, yeah, there is one of my oil rigs. So you can have oil rigs as well for oil production. Get the oil in there. Let's see if I can have, if I have any other islands going on. Nope. I, th I think I might have. Yes, there we go. No, this is uh, this is one of the minor factions, are not or for visitors the people you can trade with. So you can buy some parts from here for your ships and the islands and all kinds of stuff. And you can also buy some ships from the, this guy. I think I only have one underwater island at the moment. Production no, there is actually not one. So this is uh, another one of my underwater islands. Diamond harvesting down here. And this is also a geothermal pit here. Or a power plant, so just uh, dab into the magma there, get some power and transfer it through the ener energy transmitter up to the surface. This uh, runs a risk of uh, doing earthquakes if you have a disaster zone, so use them carefully. But anyways, that's pretty much the game. It is a very, very good uh, city builder game. One of the best, if I have to say. And uh, really complex, but not so, so difficult. It's just complex, but not difficult. Especially if you play the continuous mode on uh, your own preferences. It's very, very nice in that regard. Only problem with the game is that it is Ubisoft title, so you are forced to use Uplay, which can be a showstopper for ma many, many people. Personally, I don't really care. It works. I, I can play a really nice game, so it's okay. But I highly recommend checking this out, and also the other Anno series games, especially the 1404. But this has been quite long, quick look <laughs> this time, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching if you are still watching this long. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next uh, other quick look videos. And also uh, on my other YouTube series, I do game series about games. Uh, let's plays and stuff like that. Some tutorials every now and then. I also stream uh, every day live on twitch.tv slash Belanair. Same as the channel minus the TV at the end. And also uh, you can uh, follow me on Twitter on my Steam Creator page on my Steam group as well to get some notifications and all, all the stuff I produce. So you can easily follow me through there. But anyways, thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys next time.